Hi, I'm James Wright from Appledore Sub Aqua Club. So James, I understand you've dived the Iona quite a few times. I have, yes. Um, I've been diving with the club for about 20 years now and uh, with various licences that we've been able to obtain to dive over that time of, I've, I've dived it over 20 years and it's a fantastic dive, I love it. So tell me, how have you managed to get photos on this site that are the envy of all other divers? <laughs> um, it's quite simple really, sheer luck. Um, in terms of diving on a day when the visibility was absolutely spectacular. Um, it's, it's the first time I've dived on that when we had vis probably about 10 to 15 metres and it was absolutely superb. So uh, yeah, a bit of luck and, and not a you know, half decent camera as well does help. So you've dived the, the wreck quite a number of times and you're quite familiar with it. How much more do you think it will be easier for local divers and visiting divers to experience the wreck with the new dive trail in action? I think it'd be fantastic. I think the, uh, the work that's been done on the, on the guides and, and now being able to identify sections of the wreck is going to make it very much more accessible for people to dive. Um, yeah, I wish we had it 20 years ago, but uh, fabulous to have it now. A real asset to the, uh, to the wreck. Do you think that you might learn something new? Maybe? Def definitely, yeah. I think you can always learn something new. There's always facts and figures that you can pick up. Uh, and I think just by having that bit of extra information just makes the whole experience of diving the wreck that much better. Great, thanks.